All right, hey guys, here I just got this little video that I'm running here tonight. This is something maybe some of you know about, but if you're fairly new to Blender, this is uh, some stuff I did quite some time ago, maybe about three, four years ago in Blender. And I detail how to do a lot of this stuff inside my uh, game engine tutorials. I'll put a link here to both the programming version and the Python brick version of it. This is just a little tank and a flying saucer that runs around. I'll show you here. It's either under mouse control or under... Uh, keyboard control. Here I'm under keyboard control. There's the turret. You can see that. Whoop, that just fly up. But I'll move the turret. There's the turret going left and right. This is back when I didn't know how to model. So making this tank was really, it took me a long time to build that tank. Now I can make this tank in mere minutes and much more sophisticated tank. But this does, you know, take out objects. Let's see if we can take out some of these objects over here. If, well, actually, I have, I take them out, but then I refire them. Then I just place them back. But I w a lot of it was testing the performance of the system back then and seeing the things you could do. Let's see if we can get these guys down here. Oh, I'll just put in auto mode, fire stream of them, then I'll get them. So this is just kind of give you an idea of the performance of the GTX 470 on an old 920 card that's um, pr well, 920 processor Intel that's four years old. So even back then it was pretty cool. So let me see, somewhere this, I think this, oh, there's the Flying saucer, I'll get into the scene if I can remember how to move the flying saucer into the scene. I'll turn the tank off for just a second. If I can remember how to turn the tank off. No, I guess I don't remember. Oops. Maybe two turns the tank off. Yeah, forget how to play the whole. Oh, there, yeah, because it's the tank's off. What is that? Oh, building the buildings. Right, I could build buildings in here too. Oh yeah, then if I could build the buildings, then I guess I can take out the buildings. Is that true? Oh yeah, I can take out the buildings in this program. This let me see. So these oh yeah, this builds buildings in here, right? Forget my own games. It's been so long. Let's see if I can take this out. Oh yeah. So well, that kind of gives you an idea. You know, the Blender's evolved really. Oh, there goes the flying saucer in there. <laughs> He's coming back. So uh, you can change the turret. You can raise the turret up and down on here. There, well, you can't see it from here, but there it's raised up so I can show you it's shooting up into the air in case that flying saucer gets anywhere nearby. Where is that guy? I don't quite remember. Maybe hooking back into the scene. There he is. Oh, he's hard to get the flying saucer. The flying saucer is tough. He's hard to take out. Yeah, and he fires too. What's the firing on the flying saucer? Is it A? Let's see. Flying saucer. Yeah. Can't get that flying saucer. Yeah, flying saucer fires too. Let me see if I can remember what key that is. Oh, there it was. It's the W key. Firing is like laser weapons. There you so anyway, if you want to, you know, get into the idea of building some games or something, you might want to check these tutorials out. They'll give you a pretty good idea how to get started on a lot of this kind of stuff. All right? Okay, well, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.